into this. Uh, we got my guy, Mr. Joe Kroon. Kroon Photos on there. So I'm going to bring him in right now. Come on. Because y'all need to know other people that surround uh, Buffalo and Bills players. So no better person to bring on yeah. than my Joe Kroon. There he is. What's going on, Mr. Kroon? What's happening? Hey, man. You want to talk about that game last night first or what? Can, can we can we can we get that off my chest? Yeah, go ahead. I know you was waiting for it. Listen, before I, because I, I have a I have a soft spot for little girls. I have three little girls myself. What's up, little girl? What's up, little princess? Hi. How are you? Good. What's your name? Kamala. Kamala? Mhm. That's a pretty name. I like that name. Did Daddy pick your name? Mhm. Mm <laughs> uh huh. I don't know. She she looks unsure about that. Uh, before we get into the questions, can we talk about? What really is on everybody's mind? The Toronto Raptors come through. First of all, let me let me let me let people know. I'm a Laker fan. I'm a Laker boy, but I'm in Canada, so uh, you gotta represent for the home team. Kawhi Leonard, ice in his veins. Yeah, no, over. That was different. Listen, that was different. I'm gonna just leave it at that because I don't want to get too excited. We still gotta go through the Bucks, and then we gotta make it to the finals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it that way. So, um, Kamala, do you mind if I ask Daddy some questions? Can, Can I ask Daddy questions? some questions a little bit? Yeah, you don't mind? Here, here, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Joe, my guy, listen, for those that don't understand who Joe is, I want Joe to explain. Joe, tell the people who you are, what you do, uh, and how you're involved with the Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Bills players. Um, so I am a photographer that pretty much shot a shot, and it kind of went in, I guess. You shot a shot. What shot? What was your shot? I don't you know. You got to explain. People don't know. You know, like I just pulled out the camera one day doing what I've been doing, and I was just like, oh, let me go see what these guys got going on. And it ended up just being a vibe, and everybody liked it, and I just kind of kept riding the wave. A lot of speed bumps, but I kept it going. Isn't that the crazy thing, man? There's a lot of speed bumps, but if you keep grinding and putting that work in, it just takes one opportunity, one photo, one shot, and then things keep rolling. Yeah. Okay. So what was the shot that did it for you that kind of got you up there? I would say, actually, it's like this is how I met Poyer. So like, okay, let's go. I was like, like probably 200 yards away from like whatever was going on at camp. And it was like the second day of camp. And I like just zoomed in all the way as far as I could, which wasn't even like that close. And I just seen somebody walking off the field and I took a picture. I'm like, you know, because Poyer's from Florida, so Poyer's tan as shit. So I yep. sorry. <laughs> so I thought I thought it was Tyrod. So I'm like, oh I, shoot, I, yeah, yo, yo, I, completely so, two different cats, yeah, right? So I put a I put up this post. I'm like, oh, last one off the field, you know, Tyrod, blah 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 blah. And like, I go check my DM and it's Poyer. He's like, yo, just so you know, that's me. And I was like, oh, my bad, you know. So like, that's kind of how I met Poyer. And then, like, I made Chrome photos because I had like a different Instagram that was like like private that was Chrome photography. And that's, like, kind of what I wanted to ride with. Okay. But, like, I didn't get to change that transition yet. So then, like, the next day, like, Poirier comes up to me. He's like, yo, are you Kroon Photos? I'm like, all right, Kroon Photos it is. And so I never changed the sense. But that's how right. I met Poirier. I called him Tyrod. So, I'll, I'll post so we, I'll we post pick. We, we, you know what? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back in, into, into the, into the archives and check that picture out because I want to see exactly what you saw in mistaken so Tyrod. You, 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 you would probably be like, okay, that might have been Tyrod. <laughs> okay, I'll, t I'll take a peek at it. So now. Poyer was your in, because everybody needs an in somewhere, right? Because once one person trusts you, they kind of word of mouth gets out. Yo, I'm I'm actually doing some some videos. I'm doing that. How does how did you get involved with now going to working out with these guys? They how did they how did they bring you in? So like I mean pretty much like everything I do is like my initiative. So like if like let's say like when I went to Stanford with Harrison or like I was at the U with Dion, like that was just like me and him, like, you know, what can we do to create content for, like, you guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't, like, like, a, like I get my exposure through doing it, but it's not, like, you know, like, you got, you don't see that every day. So I'm, like, if I can put myself in a position to create something that people can see that you're not going to see on a daily basis, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So, like, that's where it kind of transpired, like, last year was good because, like, where everybody was training down in Miami, everybody was there. So I got to work with, like, nine of the players. And I got mm. to create content, 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 and now everybody's like, oh, this is what goes on in the off season instead of just, you know, getting to know these people, you know, behind the helmet. You know, I just think it's a different way to view things. 
I, yo, that's, that's that's dope, man. So you're playing, you're sitting there chopping it up with these guys. So like you, you're yes, you're there to do a job, but yeah. it's almost as if you're not there to do a job because they see you as one of the boys. Like, how does that feel when you're amongst them, having the conversations with them? You guys are talking about everything. Like, how does yeah. that feel when you're amongst them? It, it it's like they're like I think a lot of people look at it as like like oh my god that's so and so but it's like they're just another individual and like when you look at them that way that's what like makes it so much different you know because like if you're not coming up to somebody like like think about being a fan like like you see Josh Allen everybody's like dude that's Josh Allen like oh my god that's Josh Allen like instead of like you know what's up you know like it's different they're gonna look at that differently so that's kind of how I went about it and. The way I always do things is no matter what, like, I'm trying, like, what can we do to create, like, I'm about building relationships, so it's, like, instead of, like, putting myself in a position, like, oh, let's kick it, like, no, like, we can kick it, but let's do something out of that, like, what can we do? Absolutely, I like that, so you, you, you're now one, you're, like, above, you're, like, a one notch above everybody else, because now everybody's, like, oh, my God, that's Joe Poirier, that's Josh Allen, you're, like, yeah, yeah, that, that's cool, that's cool, give, give me something better, I got this, so it's, like, it's nothing to you right now. Cause you're you're dealing with these guys all day. Yeah, I hear you. I, I'm gonna ask you a question though. Yeah. How was my guy Nate Peterman? You know, like I was. I knew you were gonna <laughs> talk about this, and I was. Like, you know, I had to. Because you're, you're a fan, and I am too. Yes, sir. I mean, listen. Like, but did you have you ever you, have you ever met him? I haven't met him. So be, before you get into it, I need to let people know. People think like I'm just a, a writer because this, that, and the third. Listen. You read up on certain players, and you see their demeanor on interviews and so on and so forth, and that's what made me like him. Plus, he was the underdog. Nobody was talking about no, no damn Nate Peterman until he made some noise for himself, but you know him on a personal level. So let people know what he was truly like. I mean, you can ask anybody who knew Nate, they would tell you he's, like, the most genuine, like, like, that's why, like, if you talk to anybody on the team, they couldn't talk bad about Nate no matter what happened in that game just because of how great of an individual he is. But he's very, like, he's kind of, like, kind of has, like, the same mentality as Josh Allen. Like, Josh Allen has a super soft, small circle. Like, you know, he'll conversate, but as far as, like, on a personal level, he keeps, like, you know, he's, he's got a, a comfortable place. So, like, that's okay. what Peterman was. So, like, first time I actually met Peterman was at camp, but it wasn't, like, let's work on something. But then uh, Jason, Jason Kroom hit me up to go, because they, you know, they're not allowed to throw a football on the field during right before OTA starts. Okay. So, Naaman Roosevelt, you remember him? Naaman Roosevelt, CFO. Yeah, they, they all rented, well, because he trains out of Salins and um, Elma. So, he okay. got the field for them. So, you know, I met Jason out there. Brandon Riley was supposed to come out there. Quan Bray was out there. And, you know, Nate showed up there before they even turned the lights on. And that's when I got there, like 40 minutes before I was supposed to be there. And, you know, I'm just chopping it up with him. And, you know, he's telling me, like, don't film certain exercises that he's doing to warm up because of like, you know, like he worked with somebody in South California and he don't want no, but you know, like he's like very, yeah, he was, very he, he was secretive like that. Yeah, no, but like, he was just like, I don't know. Like, like I said, like private, like, cause he, he didn't know me yet. So he didn't know like if I'm just going to film this or it's going to go on the news, you know, something like that. But, no, I feel you. But he like, like when I got there, like I'm telling you, like it was pitch black in the field. And he was already yeah. warming up, like, about an hour like before it. anybody got there. And I'm just like, that's that's a character guy right there. So when you – when these guys are all hanging out, let, let's let's talk. Let's talk. When these guys are all hanging out, does the five-interception game ever come up? Do they roast them a little bit? No. And does he take the roasting? Or they don't ever bring it up? Nope. That's just like water under the bridge, especially with Nate. Like, you see how he ducks all that in the interviews? He's just he's moving forward. But that's why – you know, hopefully he becomes successful. Like, and I knew if he didn't work out with the Bills, he was going to go with Oakland because he worked with Gruden before anything. So, like, and you got to think, he apparently beat out McCarron over there. So, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, everybody wants to say, oh, it was this, it was that. Listen, man, he beat out Josh Allen. He beat out McCarron. He earned his spot, and he doo-dooed on the bed afterwards. But, hey, he earned his spot. So, I'm going to ask you now some fire, rapid fire questions okay. because you've been dealing with some of these players. Um, I mean, you've seen some of these interviews, so you know how they kind of go. So I'm just going to shoot some questions out and you just got to answer them and you go from there. All right. Yeah. So you've been taking photos of all these guys. You've been hanging out with them. You've been taking videos. You can put in stuff on there. Who's the funniest guy? The funniest guy. I mean, Dion's funny. 
Dion's got like a wild sense of humor. Uh, Dion Dawkins. Shaq's funny as shit, but Shaq's just like always on go. Like you, I feel like you can never like talk to him serious because he's always trying to go at somebody. Okay, okay. So he's more of a roaster, would you say? Yeah, like you, you wear the wrong pair of shoes around Shaq, you're gonna hear about it. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna be what are those? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Uh, who's the biggest gym rat? Uh, I'd say Harrison. Oh, he's always in the gym. Yeah, like it was oh, funny. Okay. Uh, I was over Poyers the one day with uh, the new the new safety we got from the uh, Texans, and like, okay, and he didn't know who Harrison was, so like they were trying to explain it to him, and like he they showed him, he's like, oh, that dude was at the gym for five hours before I got there, like. They said, oh, okay. they, they, said that yeah, guy. they wouldn't leave out the, the facility for like five hours. And I mean, so, I watched him work out personally. And like, that's, that's, he's strong as, like, that's a strong he, dude. He's, 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 he's what we call a, a meathead. Yeah, no, and he's like, like all gas, no brakes. Like, and I, and Ooh. I work out myself and I'm like, like, yeah, let me just stay in my lane and let you go ahead. Like, cause I was going <laughs> to work out with him when I was in Stanford cause we worked out for three days. And, like, I started, like, working out with him between, like, filming. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to just stick to filming right now. Yeah, I'm going to stay in my lane. Yeah, I got you. Sudden, the camera started shaking when I was using it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with my boy Joe Kroon from Kroon Photos. Uh, we're just chopping it up a little bit. He's got a good relationship with a lot of these players. So it's kind of nice to kind of dig in and, and ask about some of our favorite players. So have you met with any of the new rookies yet have you had a chance to talk to them have you got a chance to take photos any sessions yet anything coming up soon no i didn't nothing I yet did, I, did, I didn't get like an opportunity to meet anybody yet but i think the best opportunity to meet them or for you guys or any of the fans to meet them would be june 8th at i think it's strikers lorenzo's got a bowling event talk, talk about it right now talk so about like, it man what's so going on that, june 8th that's like last year is you know lorenzo does uh a bowling event through his foundation and that's like the first time i met harrison josh allen and you know like the group of wide receivers that we had brought in pretty much every player will be there it's pretty pretty crazy thing they rent out pretty much the whole facility just for like lorenzo's foundation um it's it's a good opportunity to go there you autographs all that kind of thing that's dope man now question for you have you now that you've been taking pictures you get you're getting exposed with a lot of these players and so on and so forth are you getting reached out to by different companies and so on and so forth to try to work or are you kind of more freelancing and doing your own thing i'm definitely freelancing but i actually have a lot of things in the work works with um i think Wester, me and Wester are looking to do something i just seen that they had messaged me to have a meeting with them um Pretty much like Lorenzo Alexander's got like a, a good outlook for me to punt, kind of put me in positions to build a lot. Because like I, I privately work for him throughout this year. There you so go. Pretty much like everything mm -hmm. Lorenzo does in the community, which is a lot, you know, I'm involved with. So like that creates new opportunities for me as well. Because, you know, a lot of companies, you know, take care of him. So they look at me to kind of produce the content. So I kind of have I like a, lot of, a lot of things coming soon. I don't, I don't like to toot my horn before I, I get it going because that kind of turned around and bit me one time. I, I listen. I, I get it. You got to stay humble, right? You got to stay humble. Um, so I'm gonna put you on the spot with a few questions. Okay. Um, and uh, we're gonna see how how unbiased or biased you will be in these answers. Um, your starting O line from left to right. Who are they? Okay. D Dog staying where he going. Wyatt Teller's gonna be next to him. Morris is going to be center. Um, this is a tough one. It is. Uh, I think the that rookie is going to be be in there. Cody Ford. Yep. And who's your right tackle? I'd say either Buddy from the Titans or uh, we got some. What about Nasecki? You like Nasecki at right tackle? He's from the Redskins, right? Yeah, he's the Redskins cat. Yeah, uh, it's either one of them. But, I mean, okay. camp's going to be a whole other animal, so we could be completely wrong on that. Who's going to be an animal? The whole situation at camp. Well, the whole situation. Yeah, for sure, yeah, man. There's going to be so um, many battles at camp, bro. I can't wait. Like, and I'm, okay. Like, and it sucks. It sucks because, like, I'd be looking at it like, okay, we brought all these people, and, like, like someone's got to go. So I'm like, man, I hope it ain't I know, boy. man. That's, that's the worst part. So then I'm going to ask you this, then. Who's going to be the number two quarterback? Quarterback? DA is gone. 
So it leaves Tyree Jackson, you know what I'm saying, and I Matt mean, Barkley. I've, I've honestly never watched him play, so I can't really put put him in second. But that's just – I feel like Barkley's obviously have, has experience. Um, so, I mean, I'd just put it like that, one, two, three. But All right. Camp, camp could be different. Camp will definitely be different. And right now, give me a prediction. How many sacks – does the unit get this year? The defensive unit. How many sacks this year are they coming with? How many did we get last year? We got in the third. I think we got like 27, I think, if I remember correctly. I think it was a little less than that. I think it was, I'm going to say with 27, I think. I'd so over that. or under 27? Yeah, Let me make it simple. Over for sure. I'd probably say over for sure. I like that. Okay. More. There you go. Uh, so listen, ladies and gentlemen, my man, Joe Kroon. Right now, he's, he's kind of started from the bottom, really, and he's he's now grinded his way to get up, sir. Um, get up there. So if you have advice for any of local Buffalo Cats, people that are outside of the city uh, in another country that are trying to come up and do something in, in media or whatnot, what advice do you have for them? What what do you kind of what kind of pointers would you give them? Like two to three pointers you give them. So like photography, like I have a lot of people hit me up like, oh, I'm just starting photography. The way I look at photography is there's no wrong way to do it. So you as, a, as, a, as an individual has an opportunity to create your vision and make it public. So like I tell people all the time, don't ever think like taking a picture a certain way is the wrong way because that's your vision. You look at something a certain way and you create that. That's you and that's just whether people enjoy that or not. You know, I look at you know, a lot of photographers who've been doing it their whole lives and I'm just like, you know, this is trash, but it's not my vision. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, they stuck to the vision. That's obviously why they're successful. But a lot of people don't do well with criticism either or having, like, shitty pictures. Like, I have, like, a, like a ton of photo shoots that I've done that I'm, like, I could I wish I could just delete the whole folder and make it not exist because, like, I, like you know, like, this is who y'all want to take in your pictures and, like, that's. So uh, like, no, I, you I, learn I, I you learn You learn from everything. But, like, uh, I, and I, I am, I'm always – I know, like, when I first started doing photography, I always was just like, I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for that. And I missed out on a lot of opportunities for that. And I think my advice would be to not do that. You know, okay. Like, you know, if you could take a picture and you think you have the creative aspect to make something look right, then go for it. I always doubted myself for, like, two years to where, like, I, you know, I had – you know, reached out to some, some of the players when I first started. I'm like, oh, let's link up and do this. And I kind of had to just bail out because I'm like, I don't even think I'm ready for that. I was just like, I, mean, I was just kind of getting gassed up. And I'm just like, yeah, I got to chill. You can't doubt yourself. Yeah. I hear you, man. And even even from a video standpoint, um, there are a lot of times where I'm flubbing up my words and I can't, can't, can't do it. Listen, man, you just got to fight through it. And, and keep that energy. A lot of people think like it's just like it's an easy task to just jump on there and snap photos. Um you got to have some kind of artistic, you know what I mean, skill level to do it. You can't just yeah. jump in and do it. But if you believe in it, you got to fight in it. And I, and I think that's what you're doing right now. You believe in it, you keep grinding, and something can come from it. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's the boy Joe Kroom. So, Joe, you got an event that's going on very shortly uh, with uh, Lorenzo. Is there is there something going on? Is, is Lorenzo doing, he's doing the bowling. Is there a kickball or a t-ball something going on soon? That's yeah, your part there's, of. Um, there's a Micah Hyde softball event. It's going to be offense versus defense on, nice. on the 2nd of June at Salem's Field, which is Bison's Field. If you all want to get tickets, I got the link in the bio. There you um, go. So They have, like, VIP sections, everything. You're obviously going to get autographs. It's going to be a huge event, a lot of competition. There's going to be some videos to surface of some trash talk soon. So Oh, I look for it. And it's probably going to get interesting. There's probably going to be a whole bunch of, like, the, the rookies are there, veterans are there. There's going to be everybody there. Yeah. It's, it's, I like it. It's, it's going to be interesting. Josh Allen's playing. Lorenzo's playing. Jerry Hughes is playing. He can hit a ball. Poyer, got, Poyer can play ball. Micah Hyde can ball. So it's going, to be, it's going to be fun. I like it, man. Yo, it's the boy Joe Kroon. Joe, before we get out of here, man, plug your stuff. Tell people where they can find you, what your next events are going to be. Uh, Instagram, your Twitter, your all that stuff. If you're at events that they can meet you and meet Joe Kroon, spit your stuff, man. Tell them where they can meet you and find you. All right, well, my main, my main source of media is definitely Instagram, which is Kroom Photos. Um, Facebook's Joe Kroom. Uh, I'm not really good on Twitter. Kind of fell off, so don't worry about Twitter. And as far as work in the off season, I actually have a lot of traveling to do with some of the players. 
but I want to get that set in stone before I start spitting stuff out. But I probably won't be in Buffalo the whole summer with the amount of things I have going on. You're busy, man. Yeah, and I just want to say um, Poncho's not doing too hot right now, and I just like if you guys can just send some prayers over to him, that'd be pretty dope. Nah, no doubt, man. As far as, far as like the last time, you know, I looked, he was pretty much unresponsive. As oh, did you go visit? Did you go and visit? No, but um, speaking with, you know, the things that are online and stuff, because uh, his uh, his girlfriend just released a statement, so. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it's it's always tough, but uh, you know what I mean? Bills, you know what I mean? How it is, man. Bills fanatics, uh, Buffalo fanatics, Bills mafia is behind Ezra uh, in his fight, man. But I mean. Uh, it's one of those situations where it's groomed. So we just want to make sure that the family stays tight. Uh, Joe, I appreciate those kind of words, man, because a lot of a lot of things sometimes they, they go under the bridge and people forget. So thanks for that reminder. Um, so uh, find your boy at Joe Croom, Croom Photos on the gram. Um, listen, I, a quick nugget before I leave, man. People don't realize that, but Joe was to the point going to away games and grabbing photos of these cats. When I say dedicated to his craft, that's my man, Joe. Joe, Appreciate respect. Yes, Yo, sir. you know what it is. I did my research, man. So respect to the boy, Joe. Joe, I appreciate the love, man. You keep showing love to the Buffalo Fanatics. We're going to show you love all day. Uh, keep doing it. Keep grinding, man. And, uh, yo, we're going to do this uh, mid-season. We're going to find of out course. what's really good with you yeah, mid-season. We'll, we'll see what's going on then. I'm going to post yes. that on my story. I'll post that Tyrod Foyer picture, all right? Yeah, I, I like that. Tag me in that bitch, man. I got you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Joe Croon. Joe. It's your, I'll, t I'll talk to you soon, my guy. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, though. See ya. So there it is, man. It's the boy Joe. I mean, it doesn't always necessarily have to be about players. Uh, sometimes it's people that are, like, directly in in the know with some of these players. And it's cool to know little nuggets. Uh, Joe, man, put is to work, man. That boy is is doing his thing, man. And, and it just takes that one shot, takes that one video, takes that one thing that someone does and then... You'll know how. You guys know how it rolls, man. But it's always consistency, man. You got to keep busting it and busting your ass and making things happen. So um, I appreciate Joe showing love coming through. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the segment for interviews. Uh, we got some some people on deck. So keep it moving. Keep it fresh. I'm going to keep it. Let, I'm letting you guys know exactly what's going on um, coming soon. I got some videos dropping. We got some new members that we've added to the team. So look for some new stuff, some new content on the Buffalo FedEx YouTube page. And until next time, it's your boy, and I'm gone.